what's going on everyone it's Eddie Martinez here with the recording connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number three bit depth and sample rates so let's just jump right to it and start talking about bit depth so as you guys may already know bit depth actually corresponds with the resolution of a song the higher the bit depth is the better your sound is going to turn out in the end because it's actually more true to the original sound that it was actually initially recorded at. So bit depth refers to the amount of data, specifically bits, transmitted or received per second. So a digital recording is actually produced by converting the physical properties of the original sound into a sequence of numbers, zeros and ones, a binary form, uh, which can be stored into your computer hard drive or whatever uh, that you have and read back for reproduction. So sample rates can actually be described pretty easily. A unit of time, usually seconds, taken from a continuous signal to make a discrete signal. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the chart that you saw earlier. So as bit depth and sample rate actually increase, more inf information is actually captured resulting in higher quality audio. So right here, what we're going to look at are these black boxes. And the black boxes uh, within this chart actually represents bit depth. The red curve uh, represents the amount of time or frequency that the audio is actually captured at. Okay, so what I want you guys to do now is actually focus your attention on the white boxes uh, in between the red curve and the black boxes. Now, this space right here actually represents the audio lost at lower rates. This is a bad thing. Uh, when you record at lower rates, you're going to have a less true to the original sound than what you really want. Uh, you want to make sure that you're always recording at higher resolution rates so that you have a more accurate depiction of what you actually recorded or that or actually that sound has actually been recorded. Uh, so here's a really good tip. When you make a product, the CD and you know album, song, whatever, you want to make sure that you are meeting the Red Book standard. So what the Red Book standard is, uh, is basically like a guideline used for CD production and distribution. So this is kind of like the golden rule. Uh, this means that you're recording at a sample rate of 41.1 uh, kilohertz uh, per second. Okay, and this allows for your overall product to fit 74 minutes of digital sound. Okay. So this has been Eddie Martinez with the Recording Connection. And one more tip before I let you guys go. Don't forget to check out Music is My Oxygen for more of the things that you love about music, okay? So I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next video.